It has been a difficult week and then some for Jews and Palestinians across the triangle. We heard a lot of that sentiment tonight here at this rally for Israel in downtown Raleigh. People coming out showing their support and feeling like they were a part of something. That's something that's really important to us to know that we're not alone right now. The cars honking as they went by the state capitol grounds was one sign to Michael Kornbluth that he and fellow Jews gathered here in downtown Raleigh were not alone. We've been feeling in a way that we haven't felt in my whole lifetime as if people don't care about our lives. Michael came over from Chapel Hill for this rally. It's been one of the worst weeks of my life. Um, as a Jew, it's the worst week I've ever experienced. Nearly 100 others did too, chanting anthems, singing songs of hope, some draped in Israeli flags like Liz Carden. It's important to, to show them that we love them, we support them, we will not stand for this, this evil, frankly. Over in Chapel Hill at UNC, things got heated as Palestinian supporters clashed with others on campus during a rally. I am Palestinian, um, so it is a giant part of my identity to come out and fight for my people. Um, across the Atlantic Ocean. Hi is a junior who grew up in the West Bank. I have to do more than just pray for my family overseas. I do dream and wish for a free Palestine. There is a consistent generalization that all Palestinians are Hamas. Um, and it's just, in simple terms, is not fair. Back in Raleigh, Michael said he feels for a lot of Palestinians, but feels more could stand up too. And a lot of them are innocent. A lot of them are caught up. They have a terrorist government that's ruling them. But there have been a lot of people who have supported the terrorism. We have also asked the RPD if they are doing anything with the heightened alerts for tomorrow. They haven't gotten back to me just yet. The Jewish Federation of Greater Raleigh told me that it is remaining hyper vigilant, especially with the Sabbath starting tomorrow at sundown. Steve Lauren, back to you.